Yeah, they know me like this. I can look like this. No jump, right? Coolest podcast in the world. And today, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we got one of the most lit interviews that the people have just asked me for. You know you're one of the most requested interviews? Am I? Yeah. Nobody ever told me that shit. Really? You, you never you me. never see someone say like, oh, do no jumper? I'm I, offended. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. No, 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 I have. And you know what made me fuck trippy red? Wow, okay, here we go. You know what made me fuck trippy? <laughs> you. Really? You commented under my shit and you were like, let uh let trippy smash or something. Some, I swear to God, I was not gonna let him smash. Really? Because you know, he was going off just talking about you. Like he he sort of just decided that you were like the girl that he wanted to try to exercise his clout muscles and see if he could get with. And it worked. It worked after a week of him r dick riding me. He was dick riding you? What, what I was mean, that he was, like? I think he was posting me on his his story. He made me his fucking Instagram picture. You know what I mean? Wow. So I feel like he had a, he had to definitely get it wet before he went in. It's so weird because that's always an option as a dude. Like if you're out here just trying to get some pussy that you could like fangirl about a girl and then she might be complimented enough that she would actually fuck you. I swear. I never got to that point in my life because I've had a girlfriend for like two and a half years. Clouds you and get you some. some okay, no I'm not denying that. I'm just saying that I've never been in the position where sometimes you'll see a rapper and they'll be like, you know, they'll just pick some model and they'll just start posting her and just start saying, uh, you know, what's the super corny one? They'll be like, all my followers go tell blank, blank, blank that I want to fuck or that oh, I'll treat her right type shit. I've seen it. You've seen it. I've seen it. I don't like it. I don't like it either. It's corny as fuck. It is. It's generic. Don't like put her on a pedestal. But then again, but it worked that's for the Trippie. only reason he got <laughs> pussy. Yeah. yeah. So. Good job, Trippy. So when a guy like Trippy Red hits you up and he's a famous rapper and everything, there's not like a bone in your body that's just like, you know what? I'm gonna bless him. I'm gonna gift him with this this ass. Never. And you're not attracted to the, the face tattoos and the red dreadlocks. I'm, I uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, it's okay, but not exactly. No. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. It's not like your main type. Mm -mm. I want a big boy to pick me up and fuck me. You want a Jason Love. Ooh. That name? Because I was <laughs> just looking at about, I was just <laughs> looking at your Twitter and I just saw him fucking railing you out over and over and over going through your Twitter. Jason is my masterpiece. Really? Well, I feel like I haven't had a lot of good dick lately because I was like out of porn for two years. Yeah. So like me trying to find good dick, it was man, it was trash. The guys would comment and be like, Oh, I got a bigger dick than so and so, and then I would go there, trash. <laughs> but Jason, they be I'm finna get off birth control. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, we talk about it. You, I think you want to have blessing. a baby with him. I'm blessing right now. Really? Th let me. That's how good his. But I think I'm, maybe I'm sexually frustrated. Probably, maybe. Because a lot of the sex I do is for usually the men or the man. If you listen, if you have to ask me if I if I have come yet. Bitch, I didn't come. So you're basically talking about like the porn world. Like when you have sex in that environment, it's all about them. That's how you feel? I, f I do. They don't do enough pussy eating. Really? And even when they do, it's more like, <laughs> like it's like, it's like the look of it. So it's you want like an artist. So you want somebody who's really going to dig in and just go crazy on that box, right? <laughs> I mean, me and my girlfriend have this issue as well, too. She, has, she feels like I don't eat her pussy enough. I do it, but do apparently, you? you know, the, the frequency is just like not. Like you suck dick more than he. Hell yeah. I, man. That's wrong. In a relationship, I would kind of say so. She should be able to starfish sometimes. Starfish. Because you get to just sort of sprawl out and just let me just go to town. Because I'm sure you do it. I'm sure you, he gets the starfish, bitch. Oh yeah, whoever gets to be the laziest in sex is the one who's like exerting the most power. I swear. Whoever's the laziest wins. Yeah, that's the alpha. That's that, alpha. That's bitch. alpha male. Is you get to be really, really lazy. Sexually. Are you an alpha male? Uh, I don't know exactly if I want to say yes to that. That sounds kind of weird. That's not weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, okay. I'm definitely a control freak. I definitely like want to have shit my way. If it's not my way, then I'm pissed and I need to manipulate the situation. I definitely am not trying to have anybody sort of like one-upping me. I, I know myself enough to know that like, yeah, I do definitely have a desire to be like in charge of the situation. Okay. Deep throat or no? Do Slobber I deep throat? Or no? <laughs> no. No. How, how do you like it? How do I like getting head? Explain yeah, it. slobber's great. Deep throating is great. Sure. I mean, those are just like the basic ways that uh, a good blowjob. It's not like options. Well, I heard this guy was talking to me and he was like, I hate when girls suck the balls and they're like, 
or like something oh, like I that. Oh, I hate that too. Oh my God, you're right. But in porn, they want us to do that. So I was like, fuck, dude, I've been doing this shit all along. Yeah. And it's low key been hurting him. Yeah. It's low key been hurting him. Right? Hasn't so he, that hurt? Well, it hurts me personally, but I also feel like I have sensitive balls. Oh. And you know what's funny is that like my girlfriend knows, but every time we hook up with Riley, which at this point is probably like four or five times, every time she'll go and do some aggressive ass ball sucking move, and then she'll <laughs> yeah. be like, "Oh, I almost forgot he has sensitive balls." Uh, yeah. She just points it out right away. <laughs> That's funny. As I fuck. have sensitive balls because I smashed myself in the in the nut sack with my bike seat so hard that I came blood for four days. Really? Yes. Well, not all blood, but there was blood in my cum. You swear to God? Swear to God. What the fuck? Dude? Yeah. Is that gross? <laughs> How would you feel if it didn't nut it and there was blood in it? Uh, I probably wouldn't say shit because I'd be awkward kind of. So you're just really with the business. I'm with the business. I'm with the <laughs> shit. I've seen some crazy shit. Like what? Give me an example. Uh, not to name any names. Can you turn her mic up or something, Chris? Not to name any names. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I should say this, but this other... Just wild out, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. So I went and... Had sex with this rapper guy. Will not say who it is. Super popular. And I remember he had a bunch of hair on his dick. Okay. And I, we did it in the dark. So I remember like, and he had a really small penis. I remember touching it and feeling some like weird object over on the left. I don't know what the fuck it was. I got tested after and I was good, but the shit felt like a mountain. No, I'm not even kidding. Like it was like, yo, something was here. It was big. On his dick, he might've had like, some sort of cancerous blob or. Yeah, and then the other day I fucked this football player. Oh, my, he had the same shit. It was like a, a big old something near the shaft. Where like you know how you hold it to like hold it up. Yeah. Right around that area, it was hard. But I didn't look. I didn't turn the lights on. I didn't want to know. It was wow. like I just don't want to know. That sounds crazy. I've never heard of that. Of, Me of either. This, and I actually, two dicks, maybe. I don't know. It was just. Blueface said he has two dicks. Yeah. Right. Well, but he was talking about like his actual dick and then his gun because they call a gun a dick. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought yeah. maybe he was saying he had a big old dick. Wait, but there's a question. Would you smash Blueface? If you would have put me in Tatiana. <laughs> he had I a whole bunch of regular ass girls that I know in that video. <laughs> I would have been perfect for Tatiana. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I was wondering why I wasn't hit up for that. Take me back to young Tiana Trump. When did you, uh, like, what was your sexuality like as a young and like, how did it come into bloom? Well, okay, so I remember when I was really young, I lied to all my friends and told them that I had had sex. So I felt the need to, I felt like I had to have sex. Mm, you were one so, of them. Yeah, and then after I did, I felt like guys liked when girls had a lot of sex. I was totally wrong because, like, then I got called, like, thought and you're going to die of AIDS and all this dumb shit. But I literally was just fucking everybody. I loved it. Even when you were, when did you lose your virginity? How old were you? Really young. Six. No, I was in middle school. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my God. But that wasn't in, when I left middle school, I had like 30 something partners. Man, I took off in high school. I would drive to Notre Dame. I would drive, <laughs> those are like colleges. IU, man, all of them. And I would just fuck everybody. So all these guys got statutory rape cases that they don't know about. I was, no. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, they do. But, man, it don't count. I mean, I was down. it's nice that you're not going to report them and that they're not going to go to jail for it. But I just wanted to point that out <laughs> is that like their lives could have well, potentially been actually, ruined. You know, what's crazy. No, totally. <laughs> so the person that like got me, got me, got me into porn was a Pacers player. I was 16 years old and I, he hit me up on Instagram. So we had been and I had we have pictures. We have videos of me 16 and having sex with this man. I'm not 16 age of consent, though. So he's good. But That's still not on Twitter. But OK. Yeah, I know. Right. They're like, <laughs> ah, fuck, assholes. But I literally. I told him like a couple of years ago, I was like, how old do you think I am? And he like said some dumb shit like 26, 20. I was like, no. And when I met you, I was 16. Cra he like, cause he would videotape me. Did he freak out? No. When he realized that all those videotapes were child porn? No. Okay. And he still, he still shows me them and a hacker got a hold of them. No one ever did. We never had it blown up. And he's but a really you have famous a no, person. You have a no snitching policy, I'm guessing. Yeah. Have you ever tried to air a guy out really? I've been thinking about it. Really? Yeah, because there's just one. I let this one famous athlete log into my Instagram and my Twitter because he said he was going to help me out with business. No, he went on there and was messaging men. M hey, messaging men acting like me, but he was like, I got a new number. Hit me up. I got a new iPhone 10. And he would message him, ask them for like videos. I'm talking about top five highest paid basketball player. Wait a minute. So this guy wanted men to send him naked videos of themselves. Th them fucking girls. 
or or him jacking off or anything. He could no money or no shit. But and so this guy is low key gay, and the world doesn't know about it. Swear to God, you just said top five earning basketball players. That's a pretty small little demographic right there. But I don't. No one would ever know because I don't follow anybody. Well, dude, there's somebody out there who's gonna figure it out. <laughs> just it's such a small category. I'm thing. not even kidding. And fuck you. you somebody know who hit you up, are, hit up like or Slam the magazine is. or some shit. Uh, the camera's right there. Yeah. No, I'm. Ooh, I'm so pissed off oh, about that shit right now. You're pissed off about the fact that he utilized your Instagram to do this. What kind of trusting ass bitch are you that you were just letting somebody use your Instagram? Because he said he was gonna help me. Right. Oh. With right. business, and then the so I I didn't know my Instagram password, so I was like. Try softball 19. Try this. Try this. You know, like name all these stupid passwords. So he took the fucking passwords and went and logged into my Snapchat. Oh my so God. So he saved all my videos so it could look like it was him. So dude, he was, he was on it. And he told me because I logged him out of all my shit. He and this was like, is a rich man. And this is his super hobby. Super rich. This yes. is his hobby. These dudes are sick fucks. I swear. He told me if I didn't give him my logins back that he was going to take over my entire cell phone number. Holy shit. So there's that. Wow, there's some weird guys out there, huh? Is that one of the weirdest things that you've run into in terms of just these creepy ass dudes out there? Uh, no. <laughs> Dude, my Uber driver on the way here was being extra. Right. He was like, "Yeah, I just need my nipples rubbed. I just like a bit a little bit, and then I'll cut, I'll nut after that." And I'm like, "Oh, you know, like." Did you Rrr! say anything to encourage him saying this? Yeah. What were you saying? I was like, I don't know. A lot of guys that like that. Yeah, you just got to look at and bite it a little bit. How you do know? you even start talking about sex with an Uber driver though? He, he picked me up from a a porn office. And he knew. So he was like, and then he was asking me a bunch of questions, like, "What do you do for a living?" They I felt like he that, already yeah. knew. Oh. I just busted it out. You just started talking sexy to him. Yeah. And you were just praying that he wasn't going to lock you in the car and drive you to Arizona and bury you in the desert. Man, I wish he would try. Really? You think you'd fuck him up? I would fuck him up. You think you'd fuck me up? I believe so. In a fight. I think that you would have me hands up, but as soon as it went to the ground, it's over. My legs lock. Your legs lock. I think my jujitsu background is probably stronger than I've yours. I've done a lot of jujitsu. Have you really? A lot what of ground belt control. Are you? <laughs> my ground control, she said. Uh, <laughs> what belt? You know, they never want to give me in a belt because it, it doesn't have to be that official. I kind of wanted to sneak on someone. S suck I dick for a black belt. <laughs> she just has a black belt that she just scammed her way into. Swear, <laughs> that's a good idea. I know Eddie Bravo hands it over. Fucking black belt. But, but I, you're, you're legit. Well, that actually, you know what? That would be a good YouTube video, doing jujitsu against porn stars. Although, I don't know of any other ones that claim to have any kind of background. You might want to come ready, though. Because I don't, I don't want anyone to embarrass you. You're supposed to be, you know, Adam. You're well, supposed to be but the, I think that the, the... The alpha. I think that the response from the fans would be really good if you did tap me out. I think that's what they want to see. They definitely don't want to see me crack your ankle or something. That would be <laughs> yeah. bad for business. <laughs> true, true, true. Okay. Well, did you ever date a jujitsu guy? Yes. Oh, I've been seeing sexy ones in the little shorts. So you got the UFC fighters under your belt. Mm -hmm. There's Anyone? one that hits me up now. He's real cute. Really? Conor but I'm scared to date him because I bet he would beat my ass. Conor McGregor? No. No. He works with Conor, though. He works for him. Well, he works that's, with him. narrowed down. <laughs> no, Conor has like 30 plus people on his freaking Instagram page. He should, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. So, okay, you started thoughting at a very young age. Yeah. And in high school, you were driving to Notre Dame to smash the whole football team. How are you even hours. making these connections? Uh, well, I only needed to get in. So I'll even say his name because he knows. Louis Nix played for Notre Dame. We were like dating a little bit when I was in high school and stuff. So he was like my like get into the shit because then I was around his friends. And then I started seeing like who's popular. Mm. Then I started being a crazy whore and like looking up like the top 15 recruits <laughs> and I would stalk them and like drive to their games and shit you know just was it anything about the game itself or no. was it just that you were attracted to the fact that they were popular and rich and yeah. big deals theoretically and i was like they probably have big dicks mm. so have you always just been on a hunt for big dick not even big dick really just good dick really yeah define good dick it can't just be big you gotta make me come at least three plus times wow how long does it take you to come on average i think it's very fast i feel like i'm fucking boring um i feel like it's like well, it depends if, like, he's fucking me and I'm doing it with my, myself. Right. Or, like, like, you know, I feel like two, three minutes. Right. But you seem like you're probably one of those girls whose vagina is just, like, overflowing and erupting. And it <laughs> makes it hard to keep fucking because all of a sudden it's just... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. Yeah. I could be one of those. <laughs> I might be. So... Okay. But, like, have you always just stayed... Have you always been motivated to... to continue thoughting like is this just always been something that just like stood out to you as like one of your main pursuits in life or do you ever think about leaving the game behind i don't want to leave it now mm. and i don't know what i would do 
I'm just going to do this shit for a while. How old are you? 23. 23. How, okay, let's talk about getting into porn. I was 18. 18. And as soon as you turned 18, you were just like, let's get into it? No. Uh, it was in November. It was Thanksgiving break. I remember like around that time, one of my friends was like, you can get paid for laundry modeling. It was a fucking lie. I Googled and you were it. in Florida? I was in Indiana. Indiana. That's where you're from. Uh-huh. Oh, love a Hoosier. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I Googled it, found an agent. It was for fucking porn. But I just went out and did a, a solo scene. I liked it. The dudes were fucking weird, though. They totally got over on me. I fucked one of the, the, the PAs, uh, did a bunch of free shit. <laughs> because you were supposed to or because... I was new and I didn't know. They were just trying to holler at you and you were totally. just down? And they were like, this is a pretty girl. We're about to do this. And this was in Indiana? No, they flew me out to Arizona. Oh, okay. For New Biles. New Biles? I think that's what it's called. Right. New Biles. So they flew you out, and this was your first porn scene, and were you just having a great time? You enjoyed it a lot? I, yeah. I mean, I was fucking everybody. Right. I didn't think anything about it, but now I'm like, yo, I got some good-ass footage out there of me, man. Right. Some of my first evers, because I, I, it was only for a solo scene, and I fucked one of the guys, so he technically has my first porn scene. How much were you getting paid at this time? Nothing. I probably got like $500 for that. Wow. <laughs> And so how'd you get more deep into the game? You just came with that skill. Yeah. You think you just impressed everybody about how good you were? Uh, really, I think that me going to jail kind of helped. So you don't think you were that big before the prison thing? I, I don't know. I feel like I was like mediocre. And then like the prison thing, like really like s- just put it on another level. Okay. So uh, let's talk about the prison situation. What happened? I uh, went to prison. Moving packs. Yeah, six pounds to Memphis. We got pulled over in Oklahoma. Driving from where? L.A. to Oklahoma. L.A. to, I mean, o- to, to Memphis. L.A. to Memphis was six pounds in the trunk? Yeah. Okay. And you, why were you doing this? Were you just with some dude who was yes. doing it? Yes. It was my ex-boyfriend. I didn't need the money. He needed it. That was his like little thing he had going on. But I felt like... <laughs> Driving all the way to Memphis for six pounds is some petty ass shit, right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, you're it making- was a 27-hour <laughs> drive. So we would split it. So I was driving, and I had got pulled over for not sing- singling 150 feet. So I felt like I was the reason we got in trouble. So you seem like straight up, like if, if a guy starts dating you and he's got any kind of criminal enterprise, you're just down. You'd just be bagging up coke for him. You'd be doing whatever. Because you drove the six pounds. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I don't want people to use me out what, here. What kind of uh, game did this guy have that he had, he had you not under such shit. Control. He was a porn star. He was a nobody. Uh, I met him when I was brand new to porn. Uh-huh. So it, it, I was 18. So he scooped me quick and then I liked his ass. Ew. Now I look back and I'm like, why did I date him? That's so embarrassing. Right. And so then you ended up doing how long in prison for this? Six months, six months. I did. I did 15 days in jail and then they took my ass to prison. It was so ri- ridiculous. How was it? I mean, it was just like a big ass boot camp. I mean, it was really scary and it was really hard. But the best way I could explain it is like a big ass boot camp, and the bitches there look like men. They like sh- they have facial hair like you. They shave for so many years, bitch. They had that shit carved up and everything. Really? They were they were. I was like, give me another month or two, and were I you might fucking fuck bitches one in jail. Them. I didn't. You I was, did at all. I was so close. No. Why? Because they said that a lot of them have AIDS. Because it's oh, like God. a it's a big. Think about it. It's a big fishbowl, and everyone, a lot of the lifers, you know, they're in there right. forever. So One person just, gets AIDS, just infest the whole fishbowl. Yeah. And they got you around all these scumbags that have been there forever, huh? Yeah. Wow. I was at Mabel Bassett, one of the worst. It's a private-owned prison. It's not state-ran. So private-owned, they don't have to meet certain expectations like the state mm. would have to. So it was really shitty, super stupid. Holy shit. I'm what, running away. Did you feel like they were going to take advantage of you against your will? Maybe sometimes, but... Only when I was alone, but I, I would try not to be alone. Right. Yeah, like the big, big diesel dyke bitches, fuck yeah. So you were just masturbating <laughs> in jail? I, you know oh, what? Oh, you I, fucked the COs. No. No. Oh. And I'm, I would have, I swear to God, I would have, for a bag of McDonald's, <laughs> swear to God. I would have done anything, but they never offered. And they only found out who I was the last two months. So mm. I, I didn't have them. And, you know, they were like a little bit each day, like, oh, Tiana, oh, can I get an autograph? You know, ooh, we'll let you out of your room for a couple extra hours. Mm. So if I would have been there a couple more months. You probably wouldn't have fucking. Whew, probably wouldn't have been too bad either. Like, I mean, after waiting that long, you know, fuck some random security I loved guard. It. Fuck it, yeah. He would have got his life fucked up. Not like, not, I'm not, not saying like criminally, but. No, I because then he wouldn't be able to fuck his wife anymore because Swear. he would have seen what that good good was like. <laughs> Swear to God. He would have came back to work. She would have been like, honey, why don't you want to fuck when you get home? Right. Swear. And she's going to be like, are you fucking the prisoners again? <laughs> Dude, well, uh, man, there was a guy like a year before I was there that was fucking a bunch of them, and he ended up getting AIDS from them and giving it to his wife. 
so there was a whole thing about like you know because she oh no she's he's in prison now because he's a that's like a sex offender i think if you fuck someone that's incarcerated you can't fuck a prisoner that makes sense to me yeah yeah so he's like in jail or some shit now and he got a charge for giving his wife that yeah so like that's why i was like fuck, i don't know if i should do it yeah that's a big life decision right there so were you done with this dude as soon as you went in or were you continuing to speak to him through prison well, I t- would call him sometimes because I would be like, this is your fucking fault. You know, like just right. bit to him. But uh, no, we broke up way before I went to prison. So then was the deal that you couldn't do porn or anything for a certain period of time after that, after your bid? Yeah, they what, wouldn't let me. What, what is the specific terms of that? How are they allowed to tell you you can't do something that's legal? So here, they so because I'm in Indiana and it's illegal. So she wouldn't give oh. me permission to leave the state for oh. porn. And yeah. if I did, she would violate me because I lied about the reason I was leaving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're cunts. They they just don't like porn. I'm guessing the the courts, especially they, Indiana and Oklahoma. They were like, "What do you do? You need to stay out of there." Oh, where? Just the the flyover states. Oh, in I'm general? in Baltimore now. I'm in the hood. Why? Uh, because I grew up around like around all white folk, so uh-huh. I feel like I want to be around my black folk. And like, I don't get. We any- got plenty of black people out here. But Atlanta, you know there's a lot of better places than Baltimore. I'm thinking. So Baltimore City can't afford. Uh, what's the things where you're going so fast and it can catch you on a picture? They don't have that out here either. Or what's it called when a cop the, the is like... The thing where it takes a picture of you radar. while you're driving and Wait. tells you, yeah. Well, and the cops in the city don't have radars. So you can go as fast as you fucking want. In Baltimore. In the city, though. Only in the city. What are you, in a fucking Fast and Furious movie or something? You just want swear. to drive around fast all the time? I love race swear. cars. <laughs> swear. Wow. <laughs> okay. And it's also like, there's so much more word about murders. Like right now, they're not... No one's getting uh, no possession charges. The, the DA just talked about it. They're not doing any of that mm. shit no more. And it's I, not even legal there. You know, I just interviewed a rapper named Shorty Shorty from Baltimore who's blowing up right now. Ooh. And the chorus on his song, I will introduce kidding. you, but the chorus on his song is, bitch, you a dog and your homegirls too. Which I'm thinking is actually, it might have been about you. I wish he would. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he would. What's his name again? Shorty Shorty. Yeah, and I'll put a, a dick sucking video of me sucking his dick on Twitter next week. He's probably down. I'm just kidding. No, he's a cool Shorty, guy, though. Shorty. I don't know what his dick game is like or anything, but he's a cool looking dude. You might want, you might be interested. And he's in Baltimore, bro? Yeah, he's from Baltimore. Ooh. He's, he's from the grimy shit. Okay. It is grimy. That's what I'm saying. It's grimy as I fuck. Like I've been that. to Baltimore a hell of times. I just can't imagine why you would want to spend what your time. What did you go to Baltimore for? To ride BMX back in the day. We rode bikes and we were just. They have that shit back there. Oh yeah, we were just riding everywhere. You ever heard of Twelve O'clock Boys? Yeah, the uh, motorcycle guys, right? Or the fucking little. Yes, yeah. they're sexy. You like that? I do like that. Yeah, you because seem... it's illegal, and I feel like it's just like. Ah. You seem like you're just hell bent on infiltrating every subculture that the world has, and just fucking all the participants in it. I can't wait till you like get into the politics world, and just smash a bunch of senators. I already have. Wow, really? Man, wait till the mics are off. <laughs> wait till these mics go off. Did you fuck Trump, but you signed like a better NDA than Stormy? I wish. Mm. I'm going to get him when he gets out, though. Really? I'm going to get him. You would smash Trump even though you know he's got a little I would shrimp just sma- dick? Yeah, because it's Trump. Yeah. Oh, right, the other Trump. And yeah. I feel like he's so fucking old that he wouldn't know if I had a little like video like popping out the corner. Like, dude, I don't. There's like so many. There's so much technology. I would put some fucking glasses on. The camera, the Shazams or whatever that's, I'm not Shazam, but what are the spectacles? Oh, the Snapchat yeah, I don't think he would spectacles? know, man. Right. No, he wouldn't know what the fuck was going on. I better get him. There's no way. Um, I just want to say before we even get too much further into this, this hoodie is now available from NoJumper.com. So head on over there. It's available for like next week. And we have the t-shirt version and the sweatpants version. We, you can get it too. Do I? You can is get it here? It. Yeah, we have it. All right. And also, I'm going to be honest with you, your shirt has holes in it. It looks like you've been playing with a rabbit. I bought it like this. It looks like it's from Forever 21. Where's that from? Probably. <laughs> eh, it probably. And I got this shit. This was probably like seven years old. Okay. I like wearing like vintage. Seven years old? Yeah. What? <laughs> My own vintage. Okay. <laughs> no, I swear to God. Like I might. I only got My one of these. Vintage. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just poking out the side. Yeah, so what the fuck did you do in Indiana for a year and a half? Or I, I wasn't there. You weren't. <laughs> no. Where were you? Baltimore. Oh, but that's where you got to stay while you were doing the probation thing? Mm-mm. You were dipping off. Mm-hmm. Why? Did you just love Baltimore that much? Well, here's the thing. They, when, I got off, when I got out of prison, they wanted me to go back to Indiana to do probation. I haven't lived in Indiana for like three years. So I was what are like, you going to do there? Exactly. Nothing. So I lived there, <laughs> and I would fly back every month for meetings. Oh, okay. And I was just always on time. I always, you know, I didn't never fail a drug test. I was on it. Like, oh. But, but yeah. so did you have to stop smoking weed and stuff? That must have been kind of tough. Did you hate it? Uh, 
well, I, had, I wasn't smoking for those six months, so I had, it really wasn't bothering me. Mm. It was when I would smell it, and I would be like, damn. Yeah, right? Yeah, I, I cannot smoke for a week on vacation or some shit if I'm somewhere where they don't really have weed like that. And then all of a sudden, I just smell a back one, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. That just infects your fucking nose. It does. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I could, I could find it. Well, so tell me about this weird product you have here, Lowell Smokes. Well, we're not promoting them. Oh, uh, right, but it's so some sort of weird box man. of weed stuff. That <laughs> I don't even know who they are. No, I don't know who they are either, and I I'm, not, I'm not man, in a hurry. A lot of their dope-ass shit comes with matches. I went to the Bahamas, and I took a bunch of weed with me, and I was like, fuck, I didn't bring a lighter. I don't get how to open me, this, by the me way. Me either. What is this this is the about? first time I bought this. You've never opened it before, because it looks like it's so going to open. You think it slides out? You could see matches right there, and it looks like it's going to slide out, but then I you... I feel like you're going to punch me. No, same, yeah. <laughs> hey, oh. have you ever tucked your sheets in too hard, and you like try to pull them, and you like punch yourself in the fucking face? Oh, I hate that. When you go to the hotel, and I hate it when it's tucked in at the bottom. And you yeah. just, uh, Boom. Uh, Shit. <laughs> That's never happened to me, but I, I could imagine. I feel like that was about it. to happen. They're like, you were pulling so hard. So I'm like pulling up. Just rip it. Just rip the top I of it. We don't need their top. Yeah, we don't even need We that. don't need top. We need top. We don't need top <laughs> makes the world. You seem like you spent a huge percentage <laughs> of your life about. focused on top. <laughs> no, I swear I just started. When I got into porn, my, some of my first videos were trash. I seen you sucking dick on your Twitter. You seem like you definitely know your way around a cock. Well, now, but man, when I first got in porn, I, w I wish I could delete those videos. Really? I was, I was just like this. Me and Lena were just you know, watching like, your stuff and we were kind of amazed. There was, there was like the blowjob technique of like both hands <laughs> and the mouth, and it's just straight like, whoa, like you can't even see the dick. That's pretty uh, impressive. No. <laughs> man, you know what pisses me off too, though? But like she's using too many hands, but I bet you money if it was. Two bitches, me and another bitch, same dude right there. I bet you I can make him come way quicker using my fucking... It's like the technique, though. It's like, you know how, like, with a man, you have to keep the same rhythm up? Mm -hmm. You can't be, like, doing this and, then like, doing this and then, like, just doing this. You got to keep that rhythm. That's what makes them fucking come. I will mm. make him come quicker than any bitch. Really? Yes. That's good that you take such pride in it. It's a lot of girls... You, what makes you different than the average girl in terms of I'm how open you are sexually and shit? I'm such a pleaser. I want to be... Every time I fuck somebody, I'm like, was that top three? <laughs> really? Every time. Because if not, we're going again. Wow. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. But you really think you're going to do it better on round two? I swear. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to know in the back of my head, like, okay. I know. I remember how I suck dick, dick each time, but I'm going to go harder. Like, I might have to, like, rock star fuck this guy. Like, What's the nasty shit that you're going to bring to the table if you feel like you haven't really, like, you know, solidified yourself as top three what are you gonna pull out of the bag of tricks at the last minute to just lock yourself in i can't tell oh really i don't know i was kidding i don't know i mean dudes be different man like i can't even lie there's i'm good at sucking dick yeah but there's times where i've seen somebody and i couldn't get them hard you know i'm like what the fuck you think they're just nervous i heard that that could be the thing but then like the guy that i was talking about that got me like into porn when i was 16 like the athlete Man, he likes his nipple sucked the whole time. Mm. That's all he wants. His nipple licked. That's gay. I'm just gonna throw it out there. That's I've, he can't I've, get hard unless his nipples oh. literally being like touched or licked the I've entire time. I've never wanted my nipples licked. Yeah, I think it's kind of. If different. a girl started licking my nipples, I'd just be like, <laughs> "What, bro?" <laughs> yeah. So I would use the wrong pronoun. I'd be like, "Bro." I know, dude. It is kind of weird. I don't stop treating me like a girl. I don't I'm like this. I'm not used to it yet, guys. That's Do you like weird. it? Okay, well, I don't know. I and then the guy in my fucking Uber driver. That just brought me here was like, yeah. He's like, the only way I can nut is if she lick, licks my nipple. Yeah. I'm like, damn. I'm just like, gay. That's the third guy. <laughs> gay. Yeah. That does. That's so you strange. You have some people on here though that like that though. No, definitely, and I, I I support you because I mean I'm probably into stuff that you're not into, but to me it's just I don't know. There's something about that because it's like you know we as guys we suck girls' nipples and we know that they like that, yeah. but then when the girl tries to turn the tables, it's like I'm gonna suck your nipples. It's kind of like, uh -huh. hold up, buddy. This yeah. is <laughs> I ain't like you. We're different. It is a little different. Are you an ass eater? Major. You seem like it. Major ass eater. <laughs> How do I seem like it? You just seem like, you know, you're a pleaser. You seem like you would just chow down oh, on the I'll booty do hole. Anything. Yeah. I'll do anything. Mm. And I've eaten some nasty asses. Really? With shit and everything? I don't know. Really? I tried to just like slobber it, you know, slobber city so I didn't have to taste anything. Slobber so much that if there is poop residue, it's a tiny percentage of the and total. And that shit already slid wow. down to like his back ass, so I, I wouldn't really like. Back ass. You know what I mean? Like it went under. Right. Have you ever gone to eat a guy's ass and he just wasn't ready for it and he rejected it? Never. Never. They always go for it? Well, I won't always do it. If he's an alpha male, not happening. Really? I don't think he'll like it. Well, I think I'm an alpha male, and I'm okay with getting my butt licked once, a, once a year. <laughs> Are you? Well, okay. I'm going to tell you my predicament is that my girlfriend's always trying to eat my butt. The thing is, and she's done it a few times, but I've been drunk. 
When I'm drunk, it works. When I'm sober, it tickles so much that I start to be like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I start to oh, laugh shit. and I start to tense up a little and then she just gives up on it. That's hilarious. But I mean, also we've, we've been with, well, actually it was with Riley where, where she was giving me head and then Riley just swooped in from behind and just started chowing down on the butthole. And I, like it? I wasn't drunk and I, I was able to get into it. Yeah, it was, it was fine. You know, it's not like not changing my life or anything. It was kind of like, wow, I got a girl eat my butt. That's cool. That's it? It's kind of like my girl and Riley were like making out with my butt and my dick being <laughs> the in-between part. Like their heads were not that far apart. There's just a whole wall of butt and dick in between. Have you ever had three bitches suck your dick? What's the most at once? <sighs> You I mean, know, look, she's going to think quicker than you. Probably three, yeah. But I mean, I feel like I mean, three or four, but like what are they really doing at a certain point? There's true. only so much dick. True, true, true. Yeah. But, I mean, switching them out, you know? No, that's hot. Yeah, totally. What about you? What's the most... Uh, the most ten. Uh, ten dicks or ten bitches? Dudes. I've done, like, football parties. So, like, sometimes at the football parties, I'd have to pick up the bitches slack because they wouldn't know what the fuck to do. So, wait. There would be football parties where, like, that was established beforehand that, like, this is a dick-sucking party. Or like, it's a fuck party. Right. Okay. So, they established that beforehand. Yeah. And then the girls would not be quite as freaky as you. They're not ready for the shenanigans. Man, because the dudes would be on, like, Viagra and shit, you know, like, because they came ready. Right. And, and the girls weren't, they didn't know, like, because these dudes can pump for probably 30-plus minutes. Right. So, they weren't ready for that. You know, I was ready. Right. Oh, I, I took every I picked up everybody's slack. So I would say at that the, that one specific party, I probably did like twelve plus. And then in a video, I did like ten. Right. Is this still like a desire you have? Is like just is, was that is that like a hot memory? Pull up to the party and suck ten dicks. Uh, it's not really a hot memory necessarily. I just feel like, I felt like that bitch. You feel you seem like you think that being powerful sexually is kind of like your. You're, you're really motivated to show and prove. Like, if there's a task to be done, you're down to deliver. Absolutely. Yeah, what is that? Where does it come from? Uh, I'm a pleaser. I don't know. I just feel like... I don't, I just like a lot of attention. Mm. Sexually. Don't we all? But sexually. Right. I don't just want like, oh, you're beautiful. Have a good day, girl. Not like that. It's like, weird I want because good everything you're saying would be pretty normal if you were a guy, really, when it comes down to it. Like if I was like, yeah, I went to a party and fucked 10 girls, everybody would be like, damn, that's badass. I know. You're like, I fucked 10 dudes at a party, and there's going to be fucking people losing their minds over it. You pissed know what off. pisses like, me off? Everyone thinks it's such a big deal that I had 86 sex partners my Everyone talks year. about that. It's Why a huge, is that a big deal? I don't know. It does sound crazy as fuck to me, too. Really? Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of people out there that had that same shit, but they just didn't tell nobody. Definitely. Like, I'm just so honest. Yes. I mean, and I counted. Yeah. When I was in high school... How well, many did you have? I don't know. I mean, whatever. But like when, when I was in high school, if there was a girl who had sucked 86 dicks or whatever... I don't think there's any girls that were close to that, but there definitely were girls in high school who probably fucked 20 or 30 dudes, and but they wouldn't, you know, five, six, seven years later, they wouldn't name the number on a podcast because I feel like that is what's going to freak everybody out. I don't think it's a big deal. What's your sex count now? <sighs> Round. I'm going to be honest. It's like 300-ish. You think so? That's a lot. I know for a fact, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. I think mine's like three or four or right. five. But I, mean, I think I, it's like four. I had a girlfriend for the last two and a half years. It oh, was, so that was before? Well, I mean, we fuck girls together, so. Whoa. What's but, yours? What's yours? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I want to hear it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Um, there's certain things. Body count should not be aired on this show. Body there's a count? reason she doesn't have a mic. <laughs> oh, pussies. Oh, my God. Um, okay, I want to ask a question. I know this is the most annoying question in the world. I know that you probably hate being asked this question, but everybody's going to want to know. What was your upbringing like as far as your parents? My dad was super, super sexual. I remember, like, I used to have, like, sleepovers, and you would hear him fucking in the other room. Fucking your mom. No, fucking is he, my, they never dated. There was, like, two one-night stands. That's oh, it. fucking some random girl. Yes. And, and I would be like, sorry, guys. You know, like, my dad's, it would be so fucking embarrassing. My brothers even, they used to watch my dad have sex through his keyhole. They were like, look, I'll show you. We used to, we watch them. And it's a little keyhole, like an old school, like big ass key would go oh through. Oh my God. So my dad put tape on it. But yeah, he was super <laughs> sexual. So, and he has a lot of fucking Imagine kids. Imagine having to put tape on your doorknob <laughs> so that your kids couldn't watch you fuck. <laughs> nasty. My dad was nasty. But so do you think that this perhaps is why you're so open sexually is because totally. you've always just been exposed to this element? My dad is so fucking hilarious. Yeah, totally. Wow. He's the, man, he would make you guys die laughing. But how does he feel about what you're doing now? He hated it at first, but now he just said like he can't watch porn. Everyone did it for him. 
every every porn because like, he'll just he'll just think about you regardless well, he of said who he's, he's watching. He's scared that I'll pop up, mm. so he won't watch it. I bet so many people hit me up and tell me like, dude, I was jerking off to Pornhub and all of a sudden you and Leonard are on there <laughs> with some fucking tattooed girl. What the fuck? Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah it happens, man. And you guys will fucking for sure pop up, I'm sure. Yeah, if you're on there long enough. Well, I mean, if you see somebody's Not even face, long enough. I just feel like it has to do with who's popular. Right. I mean, she's pretty close to one of the top ranked Pornhub. Do you know what your Pornhub ranking is? You know, know. roughly what her Pornhub ranking would be? Yeah, well, right. you, you certainly know yours because <laughs> she checks hers. What's yours? It's 17 right now. 17 oh, right now. Bitch, that's good. Not bad. That's real good. Not 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 bad. That's 17 out of what, like fucking 10 grand? 10 million, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Right. Because I've seen girls like, no offense, but Misty Stone is like 1,700. So, like, I know the numbers, like, bitch, man, we get 20 grand. You're number 66. Oops. Ooh, I like that. But you don't have a shitload. You haven't gone as hard with the content on Pornhub, right? I don't even know. I don't put shit on Pornhub. Certain girls promote their actual Pornhub profile and stuff. So I feel like they're the ones Uh, who are actually going for it, who care about their rank. Oh, that's tight, though. It's kind of a thing. So what have you been doing lately in terms of shooting and stuff? Or in terms of actual porn? Like, what are you motivated as fuck? Are you shooting all the time? No. I work for Vixen. So Vixen, I I only shoot six scenes for them this year. So we've already done, like, four. Or three. So we have three more. So, like, you know, six in a year, man. But I'm not fucking a lot. That leaves you a lot of downtime. Yeah. So what other kind of stuff do you do? I have leisure sex. Leisure sex. I'm the worst type of hoe, man. I, I've been trying to... You, you know, just want to fu- fuck so much you can't save it up for, for the money. You got to just go. Yeah, well, I'll be like, oh, you have to pay to fuck me. And then, like, 20 minutes later, I'm like, nah. where you at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I swear I'm the worst type of hoe. So you'll say that. You'll meet a dude. You know he has money. You'll be yeah. like, you got to pay you gotta if you want to fuck me. me. But what's the what's like the average number that you would hit him with? Not a lot, probably like fifteen hundred per pop. Okay. But per I know pop. I can. But I because I know I can get him off that head quick. Oh, so you know you could get a couple pops in there. Pop Boy. pop is such porn slang too. Per, Nobody well, says that. You don't want to say per hour because then the dude's gonna wait the fucking hour. Swear to, to God, it. yes. That's they what do. I would do. I would get the maximum out of my whole my whole hour. I'd be fucking edging that boner for the whole hour. I for already sure. know. I yeah. I went by the per hour before, and I'm like, damn, I've been sucking dick for like an hour. <laughs> and I'm like, my neck is fucking hurting. Right. They would literally wait. Right. I'm not doing that shit no more. And I feel like 1500s not a lot either. I I'm just a really bad hoe, and I don't want to ask for that much money. So I'm like, what's 1500? Right. Do you do escorting aside from just random dudes you meet? I do, but I haven't because I literally am just so unorganized and I'm like <laughs> so, I don't know. I just haven't had time. So what do you, you wake up in the morning? What do you do? I wake up and I go work out and I smoke a lot of fucking weed. Blunts or what do you do? Raw cones. Raw cones. Okay. And look for dick. I literally was driving down Baltimore the other day and I seen this fine ass dude with these girls in. My taste is getting a little... A little out there now. I seen this hood ass dude with these girls in, and I was like, should I pull? Should I pull over? Should I pull over? <laughs> on the street in Baltimore. <laughs> and I was in the hood. Should I pull over? Should I pull over? <laughs> so now I think I'm gonna get cards. My yeah. my Uber driver told me because I don't want to. I'm always like embarrassed to give somebody my number. So I kind of just wanna be like. So they can email you for the dick, right? Or call me. Like I'm gonna have a number on there. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I just fucked all this shit up. But no, yeah. it's fine. It's your, it's your raw cones. We smoke backwards out here. That's weak. We're civilized. Weak. You don't like woods? I don't like woods. I feel like woods would kill me in 10 years. Woods, first of all, did you oh, see that the... that cum's going to kill you before the woods no, do. No, that comes. that comes making me healthy. <laughs> you think? That's like getting a Gardasil shot. What do you mean? That's, that's what the I... fuck is a Gardasil shot? Where they put like Gardasil, what is that, HPV or something like that? Do you know what Gardasil is? It's for vaccines. Yeah. So like, I feel oh, like... Oh, we're anti-vaccine on here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm about, <laughs> about to say. <laughs> that shit will give you diseases. Actually, it'll fuck your kids up. So, but you know how they put it in you? Bef- they'll put the, the shit in you? Isn't mm-hmm. that what they do? Like for a flu shot, they put the flu in you. I feel like when they come in my mouth, they're putting it in me. So it's like my immune system's like up here. Mm. It's not going to kill me. Backwoods, though, are going to kill you. Wow. Okay. So note to self. Come good, backwoods bad. Um, Comes good for your face. Comes good. I've had almost none on my face. Comes good if you're hungry. <laughs> What? what? <laughs> so I have almost none on my face throughout my whole life. You can use your own. I might own. have got like a little dab. I might have been on some spray back. You should no. use your own. No, but I definitely have. Because as a guy, sometimes you'll be jerking off and you'll accidentally like pinch it a tiny bit before you nut. And then all of a sudden you'll get bing, you'll get a dot right on your forehead. <laughs> my third eye, as I call it. Could you shoot it in your mouth? I mean, shit, if, I, if that was my goal, probably. But that's, <laughs> that's not what I want to do. 
I'm trying to get it in the belly hair, so it's I hard to s- clean up. I hope up. I'm reborn as a man. Oh, my God, that's lit. <laughs> really? I hope I'm reborn as a man. Sometimes guys come and you hit yourself in the face. That's a fact. Yeah. I've never heard that. It's not common, but it has happened to me. Oh, fuck. I used to actually, I knew a dude who I never talked to him about this, but when I was like 18 or 19, there was like an older BMX dude, and the word around town was that he would actually like put his whole back up against, like picture like your head kind of on the ground with your whole back scooted up against the wall so that you could jerk off and just come onto your own face and that was the word around town about this dude what the fuck never got a chance to ask him about it because i thought it was about the weirdest thing i'd ever heard when i was 18 you need to have those type of people in here some guy to jerk off i don't know if that's gonna be good for youtube no there was this <laughs> no listen i was listening i got the best ones i'm not showing you my phone in a minute when I let's get it. it also shout out to the ten thousand people almost that are watching this we have eighty five hundred people in here where Put do you see that? That number right there, 8,551 watching. Oh, okay. That's pretty good for us. Is it? Yeah, we normally only have like a couple thousand. We got 8,500 right now for you. Ooh. Talking about eating okay. pounds of jizz, yeah. Okay. Gallons of nut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've done crazier shit than that. I remember when I did my tin dude uh, blow bang. It was, I will say it was nasty. I would probably never do it again because like I had all this cum on my face, so I couldn't see what I was sucking, but I feel all these different textured dicks. Like, okay, this is... Okay, that's the same guy I was just second a second ago. Like, like, can you tell the race by the dick? You're like, oh, this is an Indian one. <laughs> I, my, maybe, but yeah. they were all white. Oh. So like, I get racist. S- no, it's not. It was interracial. When you're telling those stories about <clears throat> your dad fucking these girls and stuff, is your dad like a cool black guy and your mom's the white one? My dad's white. Oh, so your mom's the black one? Whoa. I know that's, that's so like backwards, ain't it? Well, I wouldn't say it's backwards, but it's probably a little less common. Uh, yeah, it is. That's why it's, I have it's nappy usually, ass hair. Well, it's usually the cool-ass black dude turning out the fucking random-ass white girl. My mom only likes white dudes. Really? She's weird as fuck. Interesting. I'm not saying that that's weird, but I'm like, why? What turn, I asked her what turned her off about black dudes, and she said they're pubic hairs. Bitch! Oh, they're pubic hairs! God. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I could, I could see somebody not being into the, the kinky pubic hair thing. Well, yeah, because like, you see your teeth and shit. <laughs> you're like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> I swear, black dudes do not be shaven, bitch. Really? No. Wow. Every almost every black dude I've messed with, they're so hairy, but it's nappy, so you know it'd be getting stuck in your teeth, dude. Wow. I never straights, even you know, straights can like pull through like a floss, but the curly shit be getting stuck. I feel like white guys are more likely to just dump their dick out around their friends, whereas the black guys are like they keep that shit low. Exactly. They're not yeah. pulling their wiener out. They're yet. not. No. Yeah, they're not. That's totally like there's weird cultural difference between black people and white people that like white guys will always joke around about some gay shit and black dudes will always, always be like I know. I swear what? to God. Always. That happens to me all the time. That's why most of my friends are white. Really? Black dudes are too serious. Like, God, oh, that's not that serious. You just got to find the right one. We had Ha Ha Davis in here. Do you know him? Mm-mm. He was here earlier, and he was actually saying that if you want, you could holler at him. He seems like he's ready. He didn't to... say that. He did say that. He said Tiana Trump. Well, I told him you were coming, and he, he made it pretty clear that he was ready to slang the pipe if need be. Seven million followers. Hey, I'm here till Sunday. I need some Snapchat <laughs> content, guys. Well, uh, speaking of that, what do you think of my girlfriend? <laughs> I've had my eyes on her since Avian. Yeah, she said that. She said that you said, quote unquote, oh, I would fuck you. You got mad clout. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you bring your titties out? Oh, bitch? she's pulling her titties out. Thank I God she's not, not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> that could get us in a lot of trouble. Would it? YouTube is very strict, <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. So keep those areolas I'm in. I'm not going to put anything, but we've been talking crazy. No, that's fine. Talk is fine. Talk is fine. I mean, we probably will. Even have, if you uh, were like like hand gesturing it, is that fine? Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh. I mean, you might. You know, there's probably an element, an extent to which hand gestures could go too far. What will happen is that this video will at some point be age restricted, so that you'll have to be logged in and be 18 years old to watch it, and that will mean that it won't get as many views as it could get otherwise, because we were over here talking about hacks and shit. Oh, that's why I'm not on YouTube. Yeah, you don't that's do that. You, you don't aspire to do, be a vlogger or something. They tell me I should, but I just feel like I I don't know what the fuck I would do on YouTube. Mm. What am I? I've like I've said everything on like people's shows. I'm gonna be honest with you though. You would be great at YouTube because you just like you don't shut up. You have plenty to say. I feel like somebody. <laughs> Gee, so, I met Lana, you an hour Lana, ago. Lana, do you agree with me? <laughs> Lana, you agree with me, right? <laughs> She'd be you'll kill it on YouTube. Listen, I'm gonna tell you the same thing. When I met my girlfriend the first night that we slept together, or actually even knew each other, we. I showed her the next morning. I went to YouTube. I said, check out this girl, T- Tana Manju. She's a fucking YouTube girl. She's just a random ass 20 something, like early 20s blonde girl. And she she's kind of reminds me of you. She's not as much of a hoe, but she's a little bit of a hoe. And she just talks super reckless. She'll talk about drugs. She'll talk about guys. She'll talk about anything. She's like very expressive and everything. And she 
has a gigantic fan base. She has millions and millions of views per video, uh, just talking about whatever. She's not a porn star? No. Wow, I got stories, bitch. But she's had some rapper dick. <laughs> I have I have a whole list of when I was in high school. It's like my burn book, you know, of every dude I had sex with and little comments beside like, don't ever fuck again. His dick was, I would like explain in description. You still have this or guy. just from high school? I swear to God. You still keep this up to date? Well, it's on my mom's computer. So it, I don't have this. I would print it out when I went to high school to show my friends because I was an idiot. Right. And then, but I have, it's all my mom's fucking computer. She has the same computer. The shit ain't gone. I love that you thought that you were going to have such a hard time remembering all of the dicks that you've been involved with that you were like, no, we better keep organized records of this. I did. I did. Like, my first one, I just know because I have it written down. Mm -hmm. It was so whack. Terrible dick. Yeah. I, I fell asleep during it. I remember waking up and pulling a yellow condom out of me. Like, damn, I had sex last night. <laughs> pulling it out? The guy left it in there? I think it fell off. What a savage. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, some dicks are so small that when you fuck them, you literally have to, like, hold it on. While you fuck, you know oh what I mean? Because that God, shit will slide that's so off. Sad. <laughs> I've I've talked to a lot of girls that have fucked like one or two inch dicks, and I'm just like, how do you just not say no? Because you're already there. If I went to finger a girl and it was just a wall, I would just give up. But what are you saying to get out of it? That's there ain't nothing. If she had no pussy, I wouldn't even care. I would just be like, yo, I'm out. Your pussy's fucked up. You would never say that. <laughs> I might. I don't know. No, I could never say that. But you know what? Listening to you talk about how bad everybody is sexually makes me think about all the times that I like, you know, had some girl drive an hour to come see me and then I busted in none three minutes and then it was just like, shit, so I got I got this meeting. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> It'd be about. like that. That's but that's bullshit. that's a sign of how much you don't respect her, to be honest. Um, I don't think it has to do with respect for me. I think it, I was just their fantasy and they just got it out and busted real quick and it's over and I didn't even get to come. But I mean, it could be like that with any girls that once you get the nut out, you're just kind of over it. Even if you thought she was so even if it was hot. bomb, you're not like, damn, bitch, I gotta call that bitch tonight. The, honestly, that's how I know that I'm becoming an old pervert is because now that I'm getting older, it's more like, oh shit, like I came, but damn, they look good. I should come again. <laughs> you know? Really? Yeah. Well, and also like when me and her on vacation, we're fucking like three, four times a day. And it's like, I feel like I've like worked my way up to like a level where I'm like comfortable, like ejaculating way more times per day. Whereas when I was young, I was still more in the mind state of like one, maybe two per day. Oh, you guys fuck multiple times a day? Yeah. I mean, when I'm working all day, we don't. But when we're like left to our devices, for sure. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Really? Even when I had a boyfriend, man, I had to like beg for the dick, like we went tonight yeah but you see all that ass right yes that's not one nut material i know you're right you're right you're right <laughs> I, I agree i mean my problem though is and this is how i know that i still like her and if this ever went away then there would probably be a problem is that if we cuddle if we lay on the couch together i'm getting hard it's just happening <laughs> yeah. like i just can't but can guys i tweeted something about that can guys cuddle and not want to fuck do you know have you ever her in particular because you have a big ass have you ever cuddled with a man and him not want to fuck yeah, that's what I'm saying, ever. It just gets hard. I don't know. And, and you know, it's awkward sometimes, too, because it's like, say we get in a fight, and she's crying. She's still sort of like, whatever. And then I, like, move in. All of a sudden, we're cuddling. And then she's like, <laughs> do you have a boner? What the fuck? And it's kind of, like, inappropriate. Oh it's kind of like, why do I? Fuck. Maybe I should have been able to hold back on that. Oh, my God. Y'all are freaks. Yeah. I don't hug you? You can't hug me. You can hug I can't me. hug her. She said, really? She t she, you know what she constantly that does bad? to me? She constantly temperature checks my cock. Really? Because if something's going on, like as soon as you came in, we took that photo and I was holding both of your butts. As soon as she just starts rubbing my dick to see if it got hard or not. That's funny. I wish I would have did that back in the day when I had a boyfriend. But you want to know what the best time that she ever did it to me was? We were at Avian Awards. You were incarcerated at this time. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we went to a uh, you know sex party. We didn't know what it was going to be. We get in this fucking, you know, we take this Uber to this spot. And then there's this secret sprinter that drives us to this fucking party. And it's in this building that's behind a mansion. And we go in and there's all kinds of fucking gay ass shit going on. There's like dudes like gay tied shit? up. Yeah, there's like a dude comes out and like fucks another dude in the ass with a strap on or some shit and then they're like sucking the strap on of his ass and me and her are just like whoa like we did not we, we thought we were going to a sex party didn't know it was going to be extra out but then uh you know she kept doing it. she kept trying to test my penis because she wanted to know if i was gay or not swear to god what the fuck where was i would have loved to go to some shit like that positive news all signs are clear not gay <laughs> hetero as fuck did you get do shit there no there wasn't no like regular shit going on there I mean, it was all gay shit. 
That should have been fun though, Th- to there watch. There were some like girls coming out, I think, a little bit, but it was more like they were, you know, there was girls who were like chained up and they were being whipped and shit, like that kind of thing, which that's a little bit hotter. Still not really my thing, but the dudes, oh, like shit. seeing a big muscular dude fuck another dude in the ass was weird for me. It's super weird, but I like watching it. Because, you know, I swear to God, after they're done, every time they're like, we're not gay, we just do it for the money. I'm pretty every sure these dudes like, knew that they were gay, yeah. Oh, they did? They looked like they had accepted their gayness, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? They, man, what happened this year? They didn't have any parties? I don't know. What, How did you guys get the invite to that? You wanted, It was kind of just going around. Everybody sort of knew about it at that time. But you want to know what's really weird about it, too, is that I tweeted about it a bunch of times while it was happening. I'm tweeting, like, holy fuck, this just happened, this just happened. And then the people from the fetish party started quote-tweeting the stuff that I was saying and saying, like, oh, this is so funny. Look at what happens when the vanilla people come to our, our parties, rah, rah, rah. Like, using me as an example of, like, the most boring person sexually imaginable. I'm over here. People are praising me. Oh, it's so great. You and your girl have a relationship. You're fucking bitches together. Rah, rah, rah. I'm, like, all just being called a lame by all these fucking bondage people on Twitter. It was pretty entertaining. Okay. They're, well, out, they're, here gay getting, too. they're like, out here getting no likes. I know. We just hit 10,000 viewers. We got 10,000 people in here. This is exciting. What up? Yeah. Damn, my elbow itches. Are you super? <laughs> my elbow itches. <laughs> Are you super focused on like Snapchat content? Don't. No, I'm looking at my tummy. I'm looking at my abs. If you wanted to fuck me right now, if I said something to really make you mad, I'm not gonna give you any ideas. But just show an areola. Just if you just leaned over and showed your butthole, Chris is gonna dive over there and grab that camera like it's a ma- an arm. I would gunman. never, guys. I I know what I'm doing. Thank you so much. I swear. That would actually be a pretty hilarious moment though. <laughs> <laughs> if Chris had to dive and grab the camera. No. <laughs> God. <laughs> How do you feel about the fact that we've been uh, had two different guys with guns try to rob us in the past uh, past three days, four days? Come here. Yes. I swear to God, I wish they would try. You would probably fuck them. Uh, Give me that cock, first David Tran. Punching them in their mouth, and they're gonna be shitting teeth. Oh. But after that, I mean, what the fuck are they coming here to take? T-shirts? What's here? No, they want to rob me for or I don't know. Maybe it's because <laughs> I'm. Popping, popping Are they enough really? to pop, uh, popping enough to kill. I think you're, or or rob or murder or something. Yeah. Bitch, I don't have any problems. That's what I got. I wish someone would roll up on me. I <laughs> wish they would roll up while we're here on live. No, they're probably there's probably a whole bunch of dudes in front. They come right now. here and try to rob you guys. Two different times that this has happened, and two different times someone almost got killed. On Melrose, are you fucking retarded? On Melrose is where it goes down at. They're stupid as fuck. Dude. It goes down on Melrose. I didn't know that. Yeah. It is pretty lit out there, though. Oh, it's lit as fuck out there. We've actually had the store closed all day so, uh, since this incident happened earlier. Earlier? Yeah. Today? Tur- today, yeah. And I had just finished my interview with the other homie, Big Boy, from uh, the radio. Maybe they think that someone's here with you and they're trying to get them. Well, that's part of the weird part is that we're live, so they know exactly what's going on. Yeah, it's me. Uh, I didn't bring shit, but a Michael Kors $400 purse bag. Okay? <laughs> so you're not into designer? No, fuck no. Why not? Um, I just have never had it. So I think maybe if I've had it, then I would like it. But you've been fucking all these rich dudes. You never once were like, take me to Gucci. No, I want the cash. Really? I want the cash. Are you super money motivated? I try to be, but I'm definitely not into designer. Fuck no. I don't understand it. I don't really care for it. I (laughs) hate Louboutins because they fucking... (sighs) I feel like they're gonna give me a corn on my toe. Louboutins. <laughs> is that like, what it's called? Like a Louboutin? you've never said it before. Yeah. Louboutin. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna give me a corn because they're so tight. <laughs> a corn. Yeah. No, I totally called? understand because I mean, I I clearly at this point in my life have the budget to buy whatever designer shoes I want. I'm I've sure. tried them all, bought them all. They all feel like fucking shit. I would 100 percent rather throw on some like vans. Like the more expensive ones. Literally, a 30 dollar pair of vans feels so much better than a pair of Gucci shoes. Gucci sho- shoes feel like. I used to get like a uh, samples shoes, like from like skate company type things where they would make like a prototype of a shoe and they would send you this version of it. That's all hard and shit. That's what Gucci shoes actually feel like. Do they? I didn't know the men's were like that. It's really not for anyone who wants to do anything. Yeah. I didn't think so. That's, that's, that shit's for show and I'm good on it. But so you're just all about saving up the money or do you just ball out and you spend a lot of money? I'm sa- actually, no, I'm super cheap. I shop at the dollar store. Yeah, that hoodie says dollar store. No, it does not say dollar store on it. It's from Forever 21. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. It probably really is, though. This shit is vintage. I told you I've been wearing this for like seven years. Because the thing about Forever 21 is that the stuff that they make is really supposed to fall apart after a couple washes. uh, That's why it's so cheap. That's why you don't wash it. You just wash it. Or you wash it, but don't dry it. Uh, Yeah. That's actually the technique for for all the shirts that I have that I really care about. That's what I do, too. I wash it and I don't dry it. Yeah. 
And you know what's fucked up? You ever have like a shared like apartment complex laundry or something and somebody takes your fucking laundry and, and dries it for you? They think you're doing you a favor, but then in reality, you just like can't wear those shirts anymore? Never. Okay. Yeah. That's, that would make you want to kill someone. That happened before? Isn't it? You, you have to put quarters in there though usually, right? Yeah. And somebody would be like, oh, I'm going to be so nice because, you know, they want to use the washer. So they're going to take your clothes, put them in the dryer, and put them in the quarters for you. Oh, I you're so nice. Out. You thought you were saving me a dollar twenty-five. In reality, now I can't wear this shit. Oh, and, I you know, still wear out. it, but it's getting all fucked up. I will freak out. What motivates you at this point in your life? What are you, tr- what are you trying to do with your life besides just swallow 18 nuts a day? I haven't really thought that far. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Though, I like doing that. I haven't really thought that far. Like, I'm 23 right now. I you have- are young, yeah. I have a couple years. Like Riley's what, twenty seven, and, and she's, she's still, still like it, yeah. exactly. Ten so years I feel in the game, like pretty much. I feel like I don't need to think about like what I want to do in the future yet. Mm. I'm just gonna keep. You're doing very it. of the moment. Super in the moment. But do you like going out to clubs and like doing all that shit? I haven't really. No, I like it, but I just there. It has to be the right person to go with. Go with me and her. You guys go to clubs. Exactly. Not I swear to God, you guys went to clubs. I've never seen you go into no freaking club. No, but I bet if me, you, and her went to the club together and we had a photographer, we'd have a good time. It would be fun as fuck. We could see how thoughty they would let us get in the club. How what? How thoughty they would let us I get know. in the club. No, we would just do it and just get kicked out. They're not going to send us to jail. That'd be good. We can be on TMZ. We'll bring our TMZ report and make them stand outside <laughs> so that when we get kicked out, they got a, they got a story. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> that would be tight. Um, okay, but so could you ever see yourself having a boyfriend? I've had a boyfriend. I was just, I just, we just oh, broke right. up in December. In December. And was he? He was a lawyer. He was regular. And was he just not serving dick the way you needed to be served? I mean, he was, but like, man, I need, I need money, money. You know, like I need my own money. Mm. I want to do my own shit. Oh, he didn't want you doing porn. I didn't do porn, no. Oh, you were still not allowed to at that time. Mm-hmm. So, so I dated him those two years I was on probation. Are you, do you feel like just wilding out now that you're back in the game, now that you can? I feel like being a monster. <laughs> <laughs> like tonight, I already have a dick set up. I have a dick every day that I'm here, pretty much. Wow. I'm saying if I want. Yeah. That's amazing. A dick every day. I'm trying to have 365 this year. 365 dicks. You know what? That's how you can make a bunch of money is if you became like a if you take photos of every dick and then make like a, a coffee table book. 365 days of dicks. <laughs> oh my god! Look at my calendar. You know what? As a, I'm a heterosexual man, and if I walked in somewhere and I saw a book and it was 365 days of dicks, I'm gonna be honest with you. I might look at all the dicks. So where you just just to like I mean I would want to know like what the fuck was going on. If it was like a a picture book, is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's lit. It'd be pretty lit too because you could tell you could get the you'd have to get them to consent to having these photos taken, but and sign a form or whatever. But nobody would necessarily ever know who the dicks were. They you could know. sign an NDA saying that you would never reveal like, oh, this is Carl the mailman Malone's dick. I would just put it in the book. Put their name. Uh, I'm looking maybe out for like you Carl. legally. Legally, I think no. You write. You make up a nickname, the Postal Service, instead of the mailman. You know, a little. You can't do first words. names. I mean, if I was Carl Malone and I was getting taught from you, probably would not want to air it out. He's probably got family and shit. Okay. Well, but he's Billy. Him. Okay. He's Billy. I don't know what I would put it in. <laughs> I like this coffee table book idea. Do you? I kind of do too. Now that you were thinking about it, I was like, damn, that's a good idea. I was you guys should do bitches. 365 days of bitches. But do, does anyone really want to look at 365 pussies? Like, remove from the context of what the rest of the... Like, that's the thing, is that the girl's hot. But if you were to look at the pussy on its own, it's nasty. It's not as aesthetic as the entirety of the whole thing, don't you think? And I'm not saying the pussies are gross looking or anything, but you know, it's not. I feel like a dick can stand on its own, and a pussy really like needs like when when girls sometimes will be like, "Oh, I'm sending you nudes," and then they send just like a close up shot of their pussy. <laughs> it's like that's not what we wanted. Yeah, we want to see the whole thing. Now that you told me that, I'm kind of happy. Why? Well, I never send just a fucking pussy pic. I'll right? Because it's stupid. But... Who the fuck? Yeah. I'm happy you said that now. Yeah. And I'm happy you said the balls thing. The balls thing. Be, like, be, be careful with the balls. Man, I always get crazy dirty with them. Really? I thought that's what they liked. You know, like... They're oh, super man. sensitive. You guys got to remember, like, being kicked in the balls is the worst pain you're ever going to endure in your entire life. There is, but porn will have you so confused. Like... Mike Adriano is a porn star, and he used to shove his whole ball sack in an oh, asshole. I've seen that. That's so, so like, crazy. And I'm like, if he can do that with his balls, then... And he used to want us to like squeeze him and like put, you know like really squeeze his him. his nuts might be like less sensitive than the average dude. I know for myself personally, I have kind of sensitive nuts ever since that BMX incident where they uh, got <laughs> smashed, and then that sort of made me want to be a little bit more careful. I, I don't think my balls are going in any buttholes anytime soon. 
Also really depends on the butthole, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it I mean, really does. I, 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 in my life, I've fucked girls in the ass who it was never going in. And I've fucked girls in the ass where it was just bloop. It just slides right in, you know? Oh, really? But, yeah. Where are you on? Do you, you guys on? do anal? Yeah. Ouch. You don't like it? Ouch. I've had too many accidents. We're like, we were using a lot of lube and we were doing like long strokes, like boom, boom. And it's just like ass. And I was like paralyzed. Oh, but there, you were in the pussy and then it slipped into the ass. Quick. Ooh. And yeah. no warning. And it was a big, big boy. <laughs> but, but have you done anal like willingly and enjoyed it? No. I can't. I've tried to do the butt plug. I can't get it in. I'm like, okay, they say relax. <laughs> See, you sound like one of these girls that's just not meant for anal. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm really freaky. I feel like I would just need someone else to do it. Like, I'm gonna, we're going to drink together and get relaxed. And I'm just going to post up and you're just going to shove it in. Okay? Because I heard once it's in, you're it's okay. She's not the one to take right? your, your anal virginity though, because she's she's timid. She just she won't go as hard as need as you need to to like get that thing fully gauged out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give her a line. Maybe she'll she'll gauge it out. Really? I mean, maybe I don't know. She got that little hat now. That's so what she, I'm saying. She's I role feel, playing with that little I hat. I feel like she knows. I think. Let me play with your asshole, so you don't know. Well, I'm never drunk enough. Drunk enough? You got to be drunk for it. To get my asshole licked, I, I guess I got to be drunk, yeah. Like I was explaining before, I just get all ticklish and weird when I'm not. But as long as there's a bitch up top sucking it and you're distracted from it, right? Well, actually, that was how that played out in that situation, more or less, yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. I don't know. I was just ticklish. But to be honest, it's like we kind of have that issue in general where we'll be in bed, like, cuddling, and she'll be going like this, like, rubbing my hand. And I feel like I'm, like, more ticklish than the average person. I'll be like, no, you, you got to stop. I can't be, like, having my shit, like, rubbed over and over. Like, I'm just kind of like, I don't know. That is a ticklish person. I'm 35. I'm getting weird. Are you 35? Mm. How are you? 27. Okay, Dad. No, I'm just kidding. It's a mere eight years. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And you're a That's mere four bad. years younger than her. I've had sex. The oldest person I've had sex with was oh, probably no. like 80. I would say like 86. How the fuck did that happen? He was a trick. He was in Georgetown, D.C. He was here just for the stay. I don't know what. He was in town for like a quick stay. And he it was on some ho shit. He had booked me and I went. He needed help up the stairs. I had to help him up the fucking stairs. He was so fucking old holy and it, shit now when i say that your balls are gonna get so fucking saggy <gasps> really he had a big dick though for a for a white boy i was like damn a white but boy he, is a funny thing to call an 87 year old <laughs> but he couldn't get hard it was so big and he was doing so much coke like coke the size of my fucking finger whoa you can be 87 doing coke man he was taking him down <laughs> he holy was shit wild. he was crazy man but uh, i remember he gave me his card and he was like Baby, go get the money out of the ATM. I checked his ATM balance. <laughs> and I was like, I want to see how much this guy has in his balance. Say it. It wasn't a lot. Oh. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't a lot. No, because he said that this was what, his travel money. So he might have been saving up for this big moment of... But then again, I mean, you probably have multiple bank accounts. Hopefully by the time you're like 87, you could have like a retirement fund and shit. Yeah. And like, he, if I gave you my checking, uh, like my, my debit card, and you were to go withdraw money, you would see like, oh, it was $20,000 in the bank. Yeah. Uh -uh. That's, the, that's the checking. Oh, you wouldn't see that? No, you would see 20000 and you'd probably think that that's all I have in the bank. Oh, because that's not your savings. Well, that's just the totally checking. Get it. Yeah, yeah. Totally get it. Okay, yeah. See, so, yeah, I'm getting there with the bank shit. Well, I just revealed how much I have in my checking. I mean, that's a... It's very intimate. Isn't that what everybody kind of has? Hell no. You're supposed to keep a certain amount in your checking. There's a lot of people who have a lot more than 20 or than and 20 checking? and or, or a lot less. A lot of people are like, holy shit, 20 grand. I never had 20 grand. Checking is your debit, right? Yeah. Why would you? That's stupid. I don't know. Because that should, you don't get that money back, baby, if they hack it. You don't. Really? I heard that if they, if they take money out of your debit or your actual checking, that you, it's not insured. That's Were you ever a credit. scammer? You seem like you've put some time in probably. No. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm real bad at talking. I would fucking, they would know I'm lying. Really? Yeah. I feel like you'd be great at it. You're like very animated. You'd be able to just sort of super spin animated. a web of lies. I'm super animated. But like, even when it comes to porn videos, like acting, I'm trash. As soon as I give you something to read, I'm like super bland and like. Really? Tomorrow we have to go see our, our daddy at the store. Like, I'm just really whack. See, I'm only familiar with like the stuff you put on Twitter and maybe a couple of things on Pornhub over the years. I, I haven't actually seen the full spectrum i don't think i've ever watched a porn movie in full yeah i'm always tapping a fast forward 
good kind of because uh <laughs> my acting's trash well because in those you know they're, they're sucking dick for like fucking 15 minutes True, yeah. i don't need to see that for 15 minutes yeah. i want to see like 45 seconds tap 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 up oh, they're doing anal okay cool i feel like that's every guy though every guy i talk to they're kind of like we don't watch the beginning mm. but it's weird because like the porn companies have so much data they know what we want but then we consume it differently than we i don't know i might be getting a little too deep for this super deep you lost me super deep um all right so uh yeah hopefully maybe i'll see you again uh while we're on this trip yeah you're on this trip i have a feeling i'll put in a word with lena i'll see, see if she's interested she i have might, a feeling <laughs> she man. might still have that little hat on <laughs> <laughs> lena's plugs.com <laughs> huh what you were sucking a dick today oh like you're hitting him in the stomach she said the hat makes it hard to suck dick I can believe that. I got to get off stream and figure out what dick she's been sucking today. <laughs> hey, honestly, that was an amazing interview. I appreciate you so much. Yeah. Hey, no and to everybody who watched this at home, if you did donate for your song donations, I'm going to be going on stream. I think, what is, is tomorrow Thursday? Friday. Tomorrow's Friday? Shit. Well, I'm not going on stream tomorrow. Anyway, I think I will be going live at Saturday or Sunday night. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe and like and comment. And thank you so much to the 10,000 people who are watching this. I'm really proud that we hit that milestone. It's lit. It is fucking lit. Thank you, Tiana. You're welcome. Appreciate you. Is that a lot of people? What? 10K? For us, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Although I think when we had Trippy, we might have had more. Oh, it's Trippy. God. God. <laughs> <laughs>